Oh, the crown molding is gonna look so good in here. Steve, it's a car. I'm not taking it home with me. Let's <laughs> to build our ingredients for a wreath. I got some really fun stuff for okay. fall, you guys. Kinsley, use your inside voice. <laughs> she doesn't. I am obsessed. Can you imagine them decorated for Christmas? Because I can. If I thought I was living in a construction site before, <laughs> very much living in a construction site now. We were working on this kitchen project moments before we had to leave for the airport. We literally like dropped everything. I had levels and drills and ladders everywhere. Like everything was just like dropped and we left for the airport. I always think I'm gonna be faster at a project than it actually ends up being. So I always think I'm gonna finish it. I never finish when I think I'm going to finish or when I plan to. Uh, so I definitely thought I was gonna be done with the kitchen stuff before I left for LA and I totally wasn't, which is okay. It's fun. So we are picking up where we left off. The only difference is, is Romeo, I wanted to finish because he was helping me. He's in Cancun at the bachelor party, which is obviously, that's something you gotta do. I still have beams to put up. By the time you guys see this, it'll all be done. But I'm still currently figuring out how I'm gonna do that by myself or con my mom into coming and helping me. But tonight, I really wanna work on the second window. I have that window done and I need to duplicate it over there. Today, mom's taking me, I have an appointment. Then I wanna do a little bit of fall shopping to go with my like theme. I did pick a theme, I think. So we had Moody Harvest as a theme and we also had Autumn Fog, like a dusty, kind of a little brighter dusty look. Those were the two directions that I was thinking I could take this year's fall decor for the cottage and sprinkle it into the house, like on the patio and the entryway and the dining room. Those are like the major areas I want to decorate. I am leaning towards Moody Harvest. And I think from the majority of what you guys said on the last video too, you guys are also leaning towards Moody Harvest, uh, but both are great. I've been keeping my eyes peeled at like thrift stores and estate sales and stuff, but I don't have a ton. I wanna go see what we can get in that theme. So we're going with moody harvest. So like moody colors or the traditional deep orange. And I wanna like shop around. Mom's been itching to look for some fall stuff too. So we're gonna go do that after my appointment. And then there was some other place that I wanted to go. Oh, I gotta go to the hardware store. I have come up with the perfect concoction of stain to match our older stain or as close as I'm going to get it. And it looks pretty, pretty good. I need another um, can of gun stock. The rich tone wood has a lot of orange in it. Uh, so let me, let me show you. And I think it's pretty close. Kinsley also wants to say hi. She's very sleepy as you can tell. Oh, she's leaning backwards. She's leaning. Oh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you <laughs> You're so cute, Kinsley. <laughs> so, if you guys can see over here, this is the original stain here. It also has a sealer on it. So, um, it's giving it a different luster than this, but that is pretty dang close. Pretty dang close. So once it's shiny, I think it's gonna bring out more of the orange that's in the stain like that does and it looks pretty good, you guys. I mean, nothing about this house is ever gonna be perfect, and I don't want it to be. If the house was perfect, it would look new and not or, you know, original, and I just love that we're able to salvage all of these materials. So we have a ledge. Look at this ledge. I love this so much. Look at this. Look at this. I sent you guys here. 
We've never had this before. <gasps> I love this. Kids like, you know, of course she helped me do all of this, but that looks exceptional. I'm obsessed. I love how they came out. It was exactly like it was in my head to recreate that box that was in the original, we think was their living room. Um, recreating that using that material and just having it here is just like everything. And I had just enough, you guys. Like I said, we're gonna go and we're gonna look at fall things. When we actually decorate for fall, I'll do it here on the vlog. Um, since we're doing so much renovation projects, I'm gonna keep the renovation projects and renovation videos on my other channel. But for decorating for fall, I'm gonna actually do them on the vlog this year. So when we do that, we will make a trip to Trader Joe's to get some more of those organic weird pumpkins. Maybe next video, actually. The next vlog that you see, because I want to decorate, it's almost fall. Well, isn't the first of fall like September 20 something? Maybe I should ask Siri. She said September 22nd, and it's only the 9th when I'm filming this, so. We have a little bit more time, but who's to say we can't already decorate? It's already, September feels like fall, so we're, we're doing it. They're currently bonding over football. Something that I do not participate in. I like hearing football on like the TVs and stuff at the holidays because it makes me, it reminds me of home because my entire family loves football, but they're like talking about the Saints playing football tomorrow. Anyways, first thing that we have to do is go get our car, my car washed because a tree literally sapped all over my car. That's so bad for your, oh, see my window stuck. It's gonna be so bad for my pink. I wanna make a wreath. So we need pretty wreath things, but I want it to be like a flower ball. What do you a want? Flower, 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 fall. Flower, but make it fall. You wanna you want it flowerful for fall. Flowerful for fall, yes. How do how do silk flowers hold up with the sun? Do they kind of fade? Or is it just kind of a given that they're gonna it's just a given kind of fade? fade. Okay. You just don't put it in the sun. Uh, it'll yeah. Have it's inevitable they're gonna yeah, fade it's yeah, just gonna yeah. look dingy yeah that might but you be just it. freshen it up you take out what's done yeah done yeah and then you use the rest of it for filler you add a few new flowers to it and it's, and it's good pretty. okay yeah. so we need like wreath bases we need flowers i, I don't know i want a lot it's gonna be like a jumbulation a fruit fluff my car because I feel sticky. For some reason that makes me hungry for jambalaya. Jambalaya. So are you going to make a wreath or not? Mm, you're yeah. not, are you? Oh, you I are? Know. Yeah. I made a wreath for my gate. Oh, for your See, gate? I have, okay. to, I have to make two. I have two front doors. Oh, true, true, true. Okay, for the gate. It was so sticky. They're probably like, where did this girl go and why is her car like this? I need to go through the car wash. I one of these. <laughs> Maybe one other time. My life. Oh, Lord. This <laughs> is like colors. Color. Here. Here you want it. Oh. Oh, that's not too pretty. That must be the dark. <laughs> but look at this. Yeah. Do they really need those lights? Or is it adding to the experience? I think it's adding to your experience. I like it. How many times do you get to go through? <laughs> Just once. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well, your dad washes my car. He doesn't have this much fun. That's for sure. Next time you go, can I come with you? You can. It'll be an adventure. That's pretty neat. I surely want mine coming. Okay, oh. next stop, hardware store. Might as well be my second home at this point, because this is where I'm all. I'm always at. Oh yeah, my car looks a lot better. <laughs> like it's not sticky anymore. It was really bad. It, like the window stuck when I rolled it down. For sure I need stain and I need a sealer because I'm using salvaged wood and new wood, but the salvaged wood has a sealer on it. So it has a luster to it. And then the new wood doesn't. So I need the sheens to match. And obviously I need to seal the stain. Did you get all that or? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> she said, I don't know 
you need a sealer? A sealer? Okay, I need gun stock. It's the only way I can get it orange enough. Can you use a water-based sealer over an oil-based stain? I think I've done that before. I think I've done that many times because I really don't like oil-based sealers because they yellow. I think you can. Should I Google it? I would. And actually, the answer is yes. Yes, you can apply water-based polyurethane over oil-based stains. Satin is always the way to go. So I'm gonna use a satin water-based polyurethane over the stains that we're gonna use. I need these. We should have gotten a car. Oh, she's gonna steal. It's a car. I'm not taking it home with me. I'm just borrowing it for a while. I'm borrowing it. I need more clocks, like stain to stain with, you know? I need gloves. Like I gave you. Oh, I use those. Because I, I just bought them in a box. Oh, do I owe you for that? I just need it. Like wrapping paper socks. These, I like these. Wipe and go. I found this wreath, but we think we can do it on our own because I want to make a wreath for the front door. Look at these bird, look at these bird pictures. So pretty. Look at these for fall to go with our movie theme. I love this pillow. He's so pretty with the bird and the flowers and the squirrel. Isn't he gorgeous? He'd be pretty on the couch. I need him. Look at the fox, mom. That's the one I have in my arm. The fox is so cute. I got a tea. I was really thirsty. It's a much cooler here than it is in LA right now. It's only like in the 80s. Okay, we have like almost an hour before uh, the craft store closes to build our ingredients for a wreath. We'll make them in the next vlog, but I wanted to kind of take advantage of today and just like go find some things. Fall. Oh my God, they have so much stuff. Okay, we definitely need some silk flowers. These are interesting. I just want them to look as real as possible. That's pretty, that's a pretty flower. Oh, you're already building them up. Okay. This is a pretty color. What kind of flower is this? This kind of looks like a peony, but. We don't know how to say that word. Hydrangea, hydrangeas. Hydrangea. October. It seems so far out of reach. I'm not broken. But who else could I be? This is fun. <laughs> I'm literally just grabbing everything that I like and then I'll go through. Later. Here are the bases that we kind of need to decide. So I'm kind of figuring out what size, but I kind of want it pretty large. You're going to need it large if you want it on your gate. This is a good size. Yeah, 9 dollars you the flowers on it, you can make it this big. Yeah. I mean, that'll cover my door. Is that too big for my door? You guys, I think I've done it. I added in some of these like deep purple black leaves to give it some more mood, but we've got like some like gold spiky with the, what are these? Are these peonies? These more fluffy flowers. I like them a lot. I, I keep calling them peonies. I'm just not sure. These in like two different colors, these guys. I wanted to go with acorns, but all the acorns that they have here, they don't have any dried ones either. They're attached to like not so pretty leaves. And then I want to bring in dried. So I have some dried, um, beige colored baby breaths too and then I got some like wispies dried and then these are dried. Do so you think it's gonna be a lot? You think it's gonna be expensive? Well it's fifty percent off. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, we made it back. I got some really fun stuff for fall, you guys. My mom and I are gonna have like a wreath making session, DIY wreaths, so next video, um, we'll do a haul then. My next renovation video goes live like so soon and I've got to finish. We did the beams, I finished one window, but basically I needed to duplicate the window. I guess you guys can hang out with me while I do this. I can't believe that the amount of material that we salvaged from that original entryway was, exactly enough. 
Obviously not the casings and the plinths. Those are new like these. These are called plinths. We didn't have enough in the whole house because they actually didn't put them in the whole house. This is the original design. I had them made. So I took a sample. I had to pay like 300 bucks for a knife to be made so that when they run the wood through, it cuts it exactly the same, um, but it was just totally worth it. These are new, some of the casings are new. Um, what else is new? Oh, all the crown molding. Oh, the crown molding is gonna look so good in here. Like from beam to beam, like, oh, I not wait. So many projects to do in the kitchen, but I've got to get this finished. Otherwise, you are not gonna have a renovation video to watch. Kinsley loves to bark when I shoot this thing. Kinsley. Use your inside voice. She doesn't. It's kind of bowed. Oh, let me get another plinth. Kinsley, don't yell. Okay, wood is never perfect. You know, when you're working with wood, you, that's why there's wood filler and caulking and all of that type of stuff, so. to do something crazy, which I think is actually gonna work. These are our bullseye rosettes that are original to the house. I have some painted ones left. So I was gonna have to strip one for this project, but then I was back in my shed and I found one that was cut on the sides. I think that they might've used it for a, a skinnier door or something. You know, everything was a little wonky. So I added original wood that I'm hoping will stay in the same. So I sanded it all smooth. So I basically made one the same size. So I'm hoping that that works. You know, you just gotta make do. And I salvage everything. Like I use the skinniest of pieces and but it's like no waste in this project at all. Well, maybe this was the waste. So I think that that's an accomplishment. Now we do the sides, the rosettes, and the top and we stain. the amount of skills that I've learned doing this house. And they came out. I love them! <laughs> Obviously this one's not stained, but that's what they look like. How amazing is that? Can you imagine the hood here and then upper cabinets here and all of this cabinetry? Obviously it's gonna have cabinet doors and then there's gonna be upper cabinets on this side and then the hood will come down in the center, plaster with the range. You know, it's coming together, you guys. And then upper cabinets over here too. And then a pretty piece of art there. Just went in with the wood filler to fill all those little pin holes. I want this to look original and like old, but you know, the new pin holes can be filled. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna have to open the window too to air this out because it's oil, so it's stinky. Um, but we're gonna go in with same combination that I found that everyone keeps telling me it looks as good as I think it does in person. So gun stock first and then mahogany gel stain over it, and then a final layer of gunstock, and then we'll seal it later down the line when it really, really cures and dries. Uh, so, let's do this. I did it. I finished them. They're everything. Look at them. Look at them. It's wild to see something that I planned for a year and a half ago, literally. But it wasn't until I saw Serena Go's kitchen and she had boxed windows, I was like, that's perfect. Cause I wanted to recreate that somewhere. Literally every piece of salvaged wood from that original opening is in those windows. I had no waste. I am obsessed. Can you imagine them decorated for Christmas? Can you? <laughs> Can you imagine like little, little wreaths in them? Cause I can, I, I totally can. And then once we do the DIY range, the, the hood range, hood range, why can I, why does it always sound weird coming out of my mouth? Range hood, range hood, DIY range hood, not hood range, range hood. It sounds like a Range Rover, it sounds like a car. 
Anyways, once that is happening, you guys see my inspiration for that and what I want to do there. Uh, this is just going to like come together so well. I still have to paint that side of the ceiling. So when I do that, I'm going to go through and like perfect the sides, seam them. I have like a little bitty spot where the beadboard wasn't quite long enough when we put it up that I can just caulk. I'm a big attention to detail type of person. It's been so hard touring homes in LA and it just it got a little bit discouraging this last time. The homes that we were seeing, even like the new builds, I would go in, it was like one, two, three, four houses where they didn't use caulk on their baseboards. And I noticed stuff like that. And it wasn't until we got like a, to a really expensive house that they used caulk on their baseboards. And I was like, it should not take millions and millions and millions of dollars. My attention to detail, I think levels up the look and feel of the home and what we're using the materials and the attention to detail is just really making it that custom really custom feeling and so when it comes to things like that and using caulking and, and paying attention to how seams work and even like oh you know over here and how i'm even going to go back in some of this stuff and just make it that much more perfect um really elevates our own home so if you have not seen this video yet over on my other channel the renovation channel uh go check it out we're going to continue with the renovation video so this was episode six of the kitchen renovation so there's going to be seven eight nine and ten i think i think there's four more if i've kind of planned it out right let's see how that goes but um next we're doing all the upper cabinets i need to do all of those and then we're going to be working on all of the cabinet doors if i'm going to be DIYing them myself let's see cabinet doors, drawer fronts, the drawers themselves, um, also our DIY hood range. No, range hood, range hood there, and decorating. This is just the foundational, so this is just like the, you know, the meat of the kitchen. So go check out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Kinsley and I are gonna cozy up on the couch together later, wherever she, oh yeah, she's always here. What do you think about the kitchen? Do you love it? You helped. You helped by barking. Oh my gosh, your feet, you are so cute. Why are you so precious? Oh, honey, I love you. Tomorrow, my mom and I are gonna work on all the fall stuff. So you'll see that in the next video for sure. I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys. After October, you